Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading of yours. It is a general quick bonus reading for you. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. We have the two of wands in reverse with a page of cups here. Looks like there's someone here who's either made a decision to come towards you. I'm getting more like there's someone here who's indecisive, okay? Someone who needs to make a choice or needs to make a decision about coming towards you. But someone wants to come towards you with an apology or with a love offer. Or I'm getting you're the one who's not decisive, okay? We'll see. We'll see. But I definitely feel like someone wants to come back towards you, okay? Someone who you've left out in the cold, someone you are in no communication with, you're in separation with, okay? But this person just won't make up their mind here, okay? Because the two of wands in reverse is the energy of someone, you know, who's at a crossroads. You know, they need to make a decision, but they won't make it. They're ignoring making a decision is what I'd say, all right? This person needs to choose a path, okay? They're just afraid of change or they're afraid of the unknown. They don't know how you're going to react, but they're not being bold enough to pursue you right now. But what they want with you is definitely to have a lot of love for you. But what's stopping them from coming towards you? Okay, let's see. What are um, Cancer's energy? What is your energy towards this person that you're dealing with? You're chilling, King of Wands and the Three of Cups here. Now, this could be anything, okay? Now, with the King of Wands and Three of Cups here, I feel... Let's see the other person here. Give me the energies for this other person here. I think you want a reconciliation, okay? And you're very zoned in on this person, for sure. You're very confident, okay? You're very passionate about this person here, okay? Because the King of Wands is a very masculine energy, right? Someone who get up, they go do it, okay? Very passionate, very confident, a hot head. But, um, yeah, I think you want a reconciliation with this person. We'll see. Let me just confirm. Give me this person's energy that uh, Cancer is dealing with. Give me this person's energy that Cancer is dealing with. Give me this person's energies towards Cancer. I want one card. Give me one more card. We have the Three of Swords here. This person is really hurt. This person with the Five of Swords and Eight of Swords in divorce here. Yeah. Okay. This person here with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords in reverse, I feel this person was stuck on you for a very long time, okay? Stuck not because they <clears throat> there was something stopping them, but stuck because of their own mentality, okay? Because they thought they couldn't get out of you, okay? Their hands were tied and they were just, they just couldn't move on. I think this person is moving on from you, okay? They're getting out of their head finally. But with the Five of Swords here, they have severe trust issues, okay? They feel the need to stand up for, their, for themselves is what I'm getting. This person feels something wasn't fair okay they could have walked away from you but now they feel they're very guarded very guarded they're not even addressing their feelings for you and they're just releasing themselves you on the other hand here with the king of wands and three of cups here you are wanting a reconciliation with this person but you're still not approaching this person with that confidence okay again you're zoned in on them, okay? You want this person. The passion is there. The attraction is there. But still, you're still looking away from this reconciliation is what I'm getting. See, that's what I'm getting the two of wands in reverse here. Was this person here has trust issues and they've released themselves from you, okay? Because this is something that they thought is very toxic or something where they were they felt they were cheated, lied to, betrayed, okay? But yeah, this person's letting themselves release. They're freeing themselves from the situation, okay? And they're just, they feel, their guards are high up, okay? This, this comes up to me with the Five of Swords as someone who's very, very vengeful is also what I'm getting. You know, someone's like, you know what, I'm going to show you. Like, you know, someone's like in that vengeful energy, like, what you did to me, watch karma bite your, bite your ass, something like that, okay? Alright, tell me, how do you, how do you view them? How do you, you view them? Tell me, how do you view them? you view them okay i see the world here you view them as your world one more card you view them as the tower in reverse and the knight of wands in reverse here i think you view them as someone who wants to avoid a disaster with you okay you view them as someone who's trying to play it safe okay because you view them as someone who knows that you are 
complete chaos and destruction and your this person is trying their best to stay away from you okay because with the knight of wands in reverse here you view this as for someone who's just not taking action towards you there's no movement forward okay how does this person view you how does this person view you how does this person view cancer This person views you as, so this person views you as someone with a hermit and a magician here in reverse. They view you as someone very, very manipulative, someone who's had that very self-serving energy, okay? Very manipulative. They think that you are a liar, a cheater, okay? Or someone who just always has a trick under their sleeve. Wow. <laughs> But uh, they definitely view you as very withdrawn, okay, and isolating yourself, okay, or someone who's just trying to heal from a breakup, but someone who's constantly want, you know, there's a disconnect between you guys, okay, and they view you as someone who's doing a lot of thinking, wanting to spend more time, okay, but doing a lot of uh, searching about what really went wrong. But I think in short, they view you as someone who's ghosted this relationship or ghosted them. And with the magician, magician in reverse here, they definitely see you as someone who's very manipulative, uh, a lot of trickery, you know, you only do things for your personal gain, etc. Okay. Or someone who's just, you know, solely in this relationship for their own benefits. But I can also see this as someone, you know, they view as someone who can't make shit happen. Okay. And that's why you've ghosted them. Yep. The hermit is also like someone like, leave me alone. You know, I don't want to address the situation. I'm running away from um, my responsibilities. I'm running away from confronting the situation. Something like that, right? That's how they view you. Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles here. Someone is wanting stability, wanting commitment, wanting something traditional long term. But Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, they're waiting for the right time. Someone's not taking action here because probably they feel things are not in their favor, bad luck on their side, okay? Lady luck is not favoring them, okay? They're waiting for the right time to come in, okay? Maybe things are going and taking a time, taking a toll, taking a turn for the worst. But I feel someone's waiting for the right time to come towards you and commit to you, okay? Or someone's waiting for the right time. See, two of pentacles, your bottom of the deck. Someone's going back and forth with the decision. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Two of wands in reverse, right? Someone's say, staying more safer, okay? It's like staying, sticking to the safer choice or sticking to the known rather than going completely towards the unknown. If this person comes towards you with an apology, they don't fucking know, right? If you're going to, I mean, if you're going to take them back, if you're going to approve this, if you're going to um, get back to them or not, okay? That's why, see, you're looking away from the reconciliation, okay? Or this person is, okay? They want a reconciliation, but they're looking away. Although they have all their focus on you, but they still won't do it. Whilst this person on the other hand here is just releasing themselves from something toxic or something they thought they were trapped in for a very long time because they feel the need to stand up for themselves. They feel the need to guard themselves, okay? Because they don't trust you. Severe trust issues. What's the best possible outcome for this spread? What's the best possible outcome for this spread? Missed opportunity because someone's emotionally shut off, okay? I feel this could be you, this could be them, okay? Now, someone's not opening up emotionally. Someone's not opening up emotionally, okay? Because they feel like they've been taken advantage of okay the queen of cups in reverse is someone who gives and gives and gives and gives okay to a point of time where it's like you know what my cup is empty and i have nothing more to give okay so someone's going to treat this relationship or this connection as a missed opportunity because the opposite person didn't open up or the opposite person you know was um emotionally unavailable yeah someone refuses to open up emotionally and wanting to be vulnerable anymore okay or someone is just not wanting to open up and that's why the opposite person is going to is going to uh, keep this as a missed opportunity like it is what it is okay that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates with you do leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye